Hey, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Breaking news edition. Uh, within the last couple hours, multiple reports have come out. And now all expectations are that the A's are set to hire Mark Kotze as the franchise's 31st manager of these Oakland A's. And uh, the A's were actually the last team in Major League Baseball to be without a manager. You kind of expected that this would get wrapped up by the Christmas break or even by the end of the calendar year, the very latest. Um, And they were conducting a rather exhaustive search. I mean, huge shoes to fill in the departure of Bob Melvin, but there were a lot of great internal candidates and they also wanted to do diligence in the external market and figure out who was available, who was out there, what made sense. Is this the opportunity to shift gears into a new direction? What's out there? I mean, I think any franchise owes itself that. But to be perfectly honest, after the dust has now settled on this and the last baseball team across the bigs finally has their skipper, I'm not just satisfied in the hiring of Mark Kotze. I am thrilled, excited, thrilled, um, optimistic. There's so many positive buzzwords to use, and they're all they're all applicable. They're all genuine. I truly felt like somebody in Bob's when I talk about Bob Melvin's in in his um, you know in his core of people, whether it was going to be a Ryan Christensen who ended up going to San Diego with Bob, or whether it was going to be a Matt Williams, similar story. But but somebody in the inner circle of Bob Melvin and who was an internal candidate from the Oakland A's, you just thought was going to be the best choice. Now, there's also this with Mark. Played with the A's several seasons in the mid-2000s. Had a 17-year big league career. He's only 46 years old. He's got a great grasp on the players already on the team. But even farther than that, to have played for the Oakland A's, to have hit that inside-the-park homer in 2006 at the Metrodome, in the ALDS against the Twins, to to have been that type of player. I got the firsthand experience to cover him as a player. Fiery, intense, focused, motivated. You know, it was it's amazing because I don't know back then that I could have instantly seen, hey, that that's manager material right there. You know, some guys present themselves as being, you know, polished and and uh, even keeled and always have the right thing to say. And he was like He was a very good player on the field and also to those of us, you know, seeking interviews and and trying to get to know him as a person. He was always good, um, but he seemed so focused at the job and the task at hand that it completely makes sense of why he's come back to baseball in a coaching role. It started with the Padres, I think, as their hitting coach. Then the A's hired him initially to be the bench coach. He had some family issues, some family health issues, which required that he take a step back. And then he rejoined the team. I want to say special advisor, uh, but was constantly around them. And then third base coach. Was it just this last year or also the year before? (laughs) I lose track of the seasons. So anyway, somebody with an intimate grasp on this team, who the players are, somebody as a person who's got the backstory of having played for the A's, totally gets it. California native. He's on his proper coast. There are so many good things about the hiring of Mark Kotze that I think, you know, a lot of fans are going to be excited about. Now, where's the team going? What will he have to manage? Uh, It's impossible to know right now with the lockout and there is not going to be transactions. There's not going to be player movement. If the A's were seriously going to, you know, start a retooling process, you, you don't exactly know what elements Kotze is going to have available to him next year on the field. But in terms of always having somebody that's solid, who gets it, who was a player that was acquired by Billy Bean, you know, way back in the day, and now he's in that same ecosystem with Billy and David Forrest in the front office. um, To me, this is, it, it was going to be impossible to find somebody with the experience and somebody equal to Bob Melvin in in the managerial realm, right? To find some to find somebody of that of that ilk was going to be near impossible. Now you're kind of going the opposite direction here. Mark Kotze has never managed a baseball team, not a major league team, not a college team. Uh, as far as I know, not a high school team, not a little league team. I mean, unless I'm missing something, um, has never managed a team. But that, to me, is is not even an intimidation factor. There is pretty much no element 
of importance there because he's been through it on the player side and he's now seen firsthand up close in the last several years of, of what a pretty well-oiled machine looks like. And I also want to say here too, I'm, I'm thrilled it's an internal candidate. I'm, I'm thrilled it's somebody who was already with the A's. There were other choices and it doesn't do any good at this point to, to go into breaking those down and who else was out there, who else interviewed. We now know it's Mark Kotze. I just do want to recognize there were other qualified candidates, but what's great about it, you get Mark to be the manager. You don't necessarily break up what's you know already existing in your staff, um, your dugout staff, your coaching staff, you know, on and on as you kind of go through the umbrella of, of coaches and such. But it, I, I'm just really excited about this move. Uh, I think for the A's, it was pretty much the best thing they could possibly do at this point. Again, impossible shoes to fill. And I think, too, with Mark, you know, you get somebody who's excited to take this on, who is, you know, certainly motivated to win. And I, and I, I wonder, you know, if, if <laughs> depending on what the team looks like, depending on what their big picture process looks like, you know, he's a guy that's fiery. He's intense. I, I'm interested to see what his media sessions look like. Bob Melvin, for example, was so even keel, laid back. He got, he got mad. Don't, don't get me wrong. Bob would be fuming at times. But he'd put on a different face. He would be very polished. And I don't know. Mark Kotze, Mark Kotze is the reason I like him is because he doesn't, I don't feel like he needs to have that polish. I think he's going to tell everybody what they he's going to tell everybody what he thinks and what's on his mind and he's going to be honest and upfront and and that is a quality right there in itself that I'm pretty excited to see for a manager and I know players appreciate it too. Uh being 46 years old not that far separated from you know younger players not that far removed from the game in fact I I think if I pull this up here I think his last season was in the early 2010s. It's I'm I'm not I'm not saying this that I don't remember, but a lot of years blend in. There you go. 2013 with the Padres. And you look at his playing career started with the Marlins, then San Diego, and then kind of here the heart of his career. Play ended up playing with the A's uh, 472 games. Was a 282 hitter in those four seasons with the Oakland A's. Center fielder, uh, like I said, had that that famous inside the park homer in game two, I think, of the 2006 ALDS, uh, but was a big contributor to all those mid 2000s teams. After that, ended up going to Atlanta. His career kind of got segmented after that: Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Milwaukee, and then back to the Padres, where he finished up. And then, like I said, almost immediately joined their coaching staff as a hitting coach right after that, and then transitioned back up north to the Oakland A's. So you're looking at a 17-year career for Mark Kotze, and no, that is not what he looks like lately. He's got the full beard going. He's got a lot more facial hair. I'm not going to comment about the salt and pepper because I suffer from that too, <laughs> or I'm, I'm graced with that too. But um, certainly it's a little bit of a different different looking Mark Kotze um, than how the player the player picture appears here. Let me go back to one other thing here for just a second. Uh, want to look at the list of managers here for the, and I said earlier, 31st manager of the Oakland A's, uh, but really 31st manager of the A's all time, going back to their first skipper, Connie Mack, who did it for 49 years, almost 7,500 games. The A's have been fortunate here, honestly. I mean, think about it. Since 86, they've only had Larusa, Art Howe, Ken Maka, Bob Guerin, Bo Mal, and now Mark Kotze. And the hope is, you know, they've been relatively stable. I mean, look at that comparison as opposed to the 10 years here where they went through uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine managers in 10 years up to 86. And since 86, they've only had one, two, three, four, five, and now today, the sixth being Mark Kotze. You certainly hope that what the A's have done here is establish a manager for now. And for the long term of the future, and yeah, being 46 years old, you hope that sets him up to do this for a very long time, be successful with the A's. Weird to look at it this way right now. I think you're hoping Mark Kotze is the manager of the A's when they play their first game at Howard Terminal, hypothetically 
2027, anybody? Or six? Or eight? I don't know. But you're you're certainly hoping that if he goes as long as some of the other recent skippers have, and, and he can give you that, and the team can be built around that, and he has success, that this is a long-term fit. This is not a try-it-out thing. I know it's his first time doing it, but I uh, certainly hope that he is a long-term fit. So, again, I, I just want to recap here, not to go too long. Mark Kotze, exciting for me as I've seen things develop in the last couple days, in the last couple weeks, and I see who's out there, and I and I understand the A's, and I know their position, and I know where they're at, and I know where they may or may not go, but who would be, you know, who would be the glue that could hold all of this together? And I truly, truly think Mark Kotze is a perfect candidate for this job. Honestly, I, I did not want to shop outside. I, I really did not want to bring a new face into the organization. Having somebody who played with them, who gets them, who's been on the inside, who can just continue moving this thing forward and keep it together. Really excited about the hire of Mark Kotze. Hey, while, while you're here, while I have you, uh, if you're not subscribing to the channel, I really appreciate you doing that now. If you found this video informative, entertaining, if it was timely for you, maybe give it a thumbs up so that others here on YouTube can be recommended to it. Okay, uh, that's it. Again, really appreciate it. And uh, congratulations to Mark Kotze. Uh, can't wait to see you out there, hopefully on time for the start of the 22, 2022 season uh, of the A's. And, and let's hope that baseball does get started on time and on track coming up this spring. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you later.